guys. I just got to get out here and and shoot five rounds out of this Bacale as the H81 KM. This is a really unique shotgun. Um, it looks pretty traditional with the corn cob style forend. A nice wood grain on the stock. It's a Russian gun. So it's made really, really well. Better than most U.S. Uh, manufactured guns that I've had. Or shotguns, anyway. Um, as far as the fit and finish, the finish looks really, really nice. The fit's a little bit on the loose side. I guess that's pretty much, you know, typical of a Russian gun. They made it to work, and, you know, I kind of imagine an AK in, in a lot of ways when I handle this gun. Um, let me show you. The unique thing about this or the most unique thing about it anyway, is that it takes box magazines. And normally you would load a shotgun through the tube. This, I doubt you'll be able to see it, but there's actually just a feed ramp where the tube would normally open it in the receiver. So you take your box mag and you load it just like an AK. You go front end first, and then kind of bring the back end, the latches it in. You load it up just like that. And you can load it open or closed. Um, this is your bolt release. It's kind of a little silver cylinder right there. You just push it straight up. Push it straight up. You know, right? Um, it's a really nice gun. It does have a polymer trigger guard, which I wasn't real fond of at first, but, you know, it's everything seems pretty well built, really. Um, you don't see these a whole lot. I think they were only imported 1999 and 2000, I believe it is. Uh, I have no idea how many of them are in the U.S., but they're not all that expensive. I got this one for $350. i have seen some a lot higher than that. I've heard of some lower, but I've never seen them personally. So your mileage may vary there. But if you if you get the chance to get one of these, man, I say do it. You know, parts are hard to come by. That's pretty much the main disadvantage. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention, the magazines. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But they say Bacale, and that's the last three digits of my serial number. And this one is one. This one also has the last three digits, but it's number two. So they actually serialize the magazines to the gun and say, okay, this is magazine number one, magazine number two. I thought that was a really cool touch. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to do a video on this. When I was doing research trying to learn about them, I couldn't find jack crack about it. So I wanted to do a video and kind of, you know, let you see how it shoots. It works good. It's smooth. Here's one thing I really like about it. Without actually loading a shell into it, I'm just going to press the magazine release. I came all the way down. And if you turn it upside down. Oh, I didn't do it. Sometimes it'll go up by itself. Sometimes it won't. So, anyway, it's just a really smooth action. It's a nice gun. Uh, it's a little bit looser than like an 870. Usually the action, it, the fit is a little bit looser. It's not necessarily a bad thing, though. Um, you know, it, it always works. It's, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, I'll probably do some more videos on it, but I just want to give you guys a quick look at it. I just got it yesterday, so I like it. Get you one.